Hey everyone, we're going to learn how to convert a PDF to AutoCAD and import it into 3ds Max. First, we're going to open our PDF file directly in AutoCAD. To do this, type PDF import and press enter. This opens the PDF import window. Here, you can select which page to import if your PDF has multiple pages. We also have options for scale and rotation. For now, we can leave these as the default settings. We're going to fix the scale with the align tool later. In the PDF data import section, we're going to uncheck raster image as we don't need them. For layers, if the PDF doesn't have any, it's a good idea to select create object layers. This option puts different types of objects like geometry, text, and solid fields onto separate layers, which is really helpful for organization. Next, under import options, we're also going to uncheck applying lightweight properties. Once these options are set, click the OK button. After a few seconds, you should see lines, text, and maybe some solid hatches. These lines are usually imported as polylines. Now, we're going to do a little cleanup. We need to remove any elements we don't need for our 3ds Max project. This could include text nodes, hatch patterns, or extra details that are not part of the main geometry. Once the cleanup is done, let's fix the scale. We're going to find an object in the drawing that we know the real world size, like a standard door. Then, use the measure tool to check the size. In this drawing, the door measures 0.5639 units which we know is incorrect for a typical door. Let's assume the door should be one unit wide. To fix this, we're going to use the align command. First, draw a new polyline somewhere off to the side. Make this polyline exactly one unit long, representing our target one meter width. Now, select everything we imported before, all the lines and geometry. Type a line and press enter. AutoCAD will ask for the first source point. Click on one side of the door in your drawing. Then it will ask for the first destination point. Click on one end of the one unit reference polyline we created. Next, it asks for the second source point. Click the other side of the same door. For the second destination point, click the other end of your one unit reference polyline. Finally, it will ask a scale objects based on alignment points. It's important to select yes. AutoCAD will now move and scale your entire selection so the door width precisely matches the one unit reference line. Your drawing is now correctly scaled. We can delete the reference polyline we created earlier. Select the entire drawing again. Press Ctrl C on your keyboard to copy it. Now, let's switch over to 3ds Max. Here, we're going to use the script called Paste DWG. This script makes the process easier. We need to adjust a couple of settings. We're going to select Make Splines Flat. This ensures all the lines are perfectly flying on the ground plane. Also, remember we created layers back in AutoCAD, so we can uncheck the All to One Layer option. This will keep the layers we set up in AutoCAD. Now, press the Paste button. The 3ds Max standard import options window will appear. This is where we tell 3ds Max about the unit. Since we scale our drawing in AutoCAD, so the door was one unit, and we decided that one unit represents one meter, we need to make sure the incoming file unit is set to meters. Select Meters and click the OK button. After a few moments, your CAD plan appears in 3ds Max. Let's quickly verify the scale. We can create a simple bot object and use it to measure the door. Drag the bots across the door opening. You should see the length is around 100 centimeters, which is perfect. Let's also look at the layer explorer in 3ds Max. You can see the layers we created back in AutoCAD, like geometry, have been imported too. And there you have it. This is how you can quickly convert a PDF to a properly scaled DWG file in AutoCAD, and then import it into 3ds Max. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.